John D. Rockefeller Jr. established the Rockefeller dynasty in population control back in 1913 with the foundation of the Bureau of Social Hygiene and later began financing the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Anthropology, Human Hereditary, and Eugenics, which conducted eugenics experiments in Nazi Germany with Rockefeller money. After the end of World War II, eugenics had lost momentum in the U.S. due to the open Nazi support for the program and was rebranded as things such as molecular biology with the help from people like Julian Huxley, who has extensive ties to the United Nations and through sustainable development with the support of the Rockefellers and Rothschilds. Published at Bloomberg, which of course is owned by the same presidential candidate and head of the financial task force covered earlier in this report, recently published a report claiming that 11,000 top global scientists urgently declared that the Earth needs fewer people to avoid climate crisis. But when you actually look at the document, it's really only about 2,000 scientists who supposedly signed this. And I wouldn't doubt that. When you see how the Rockefeller family has taken over universities across the country and installed their own like-minded people, it's not too far-fetched to think that they could get a couple thousand scientists to sign this. Now, once you have a greater understanding of what the agenda actually is, as presented in this report, you begin to see how these global bodies, governments, foundations, and financial institutions plan to achieve this new sustainable financial system. You'll begin to see how this has spread everywhere, even in your own local communities, under the guise of sustainable development and saving the planet from climate change. You also begin to see how this global agenda is aimed at, again, concentrating more power into the hands of the oligarchs on the pretext of economic and social justice, saving the planet from yourselves. But for now, I will leave you with this quote from David Rockefeller. Now, some believe that we, the Rockefellers, are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists, conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure. One world, if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty and I'm proud of it.